How's it going, everybody? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. So I didn't actually notice, but you can actually load up Stranded Deep with Rex X11 now, which makes it look even more beautiful. I mean, look at this sky now. They actually upgraded the sky quite a bit. Uh, added clouds and whatnot for the Direct X 11 version, so I hope you guys enjoy the new graphics. Let's get into it. Anyways, a few of you were saying I don't really know how to work this, and you're probably right. I just assumed it rained and then the water went in the bucket, but some people are saying you actually need two buckets. You basically need to evaporate the seawater. Uh, the evaporation condenses on top of this and then drops into this bucket down here. So thankfully, we actually do have another bucket here, so I'm gonna try this out. Uh, basically, I gotta go get seawater and then put it on that thing, and it's supposed to collect the condensation from this bucket into the other bucket. It's actually pretty interesting. Holy shit, this is shallow for, like, ever. <laughs> okay, I'm just fucking god here walking on water. Like, look how far out I am, and there's gonna be, like, a shark right here. Just watch. Oh, god, I'm scared, but I do need to collect some water. And I'm curious to see if, yes, in fact, the underwater glitch has been fixed. A lot of you guys are worried that that's just how the game is now. No, that was just a glitch. Anyways, we should have some water in here, so let's go throw this thing on here, light that fire up, and start getting some water, because that's prime focus number one right now. You can see my water is dropping quite a bit. I still got fruit, so it's not really a big issue, but yes. So I should be able to interact. So there we go. So now you guys kind of probably get the idea. Basically, this evaporates, hits that, and drops into that. Obviously, all I gotta do now is light the fire. There we go. Okay, so now that that's done, well, at least we're waiting for it to be done, let's actually start setting up our little base here. I don't I don't know if I'll be staying here. I do want to, you know, kind of voyage around, uh, maybe upgrade my raft a little bit today. I'm also going to go island to island and get some resources that we need. Uh, just doing the typical survival stuff of getting a good base going on at the start here. Holy shit. I have a lot of freaking tarps. Now, because I'm not modding this game this time, we're going to do the same thing that we did before. Basically, when I'm done scavenging an island, I'm going to put a stick on my island pointing to the island that I scavenged. That way I know that I've depleted the resources of that one. So we're going to go to that island today, get as many resources as I can, and then hopefully come back and, you know, not get lost. Uh, speaking of lost, where the hell is my raft? I think I saw it. Oh, it's way over here this time. Okay, so point the stick at that island and let's go deplete those resources. How are we doing anyways? I do got two bars of water, but I also am bringing some fruit with me, so we should be totally fine. And hopefully when we come back, we can actually drink some of that water. And when I'm saying that, I'm just realizing I don't actually own a water bottle. So how the hell am I going to drink it? You know what? I don't know. Hopefully we'll just find some fruit. I just got to keep going and uh, collecting resources essentially right now. And of course, I'm traveling at dawn, so chances are I'm going to probably stay over on this island just so I don't get lost. Uh, look how beautiful these freaking clouds are. This game, my god, even if you don't like the gameplay, just wandering around it is simply beautiful. Oh yes, I definitely prefer the DirectX 11 version of this game. My god, you can see the clouds at night, the moon's coming up, this is so fucking beautiful! I didn't even realize there was a DirectX 11 version until you guys mentioned it in the comments, so thank you! I appreciate that, because now we get to enjoy shit like this. Like, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Fucking sharks are here! Okay, we're getting the fuck out! I actually don't know how aggressive the sharks are now, we only seen one so far, so I'm gonna try and get to the island as quickly as I can, just in case they start, you know, toppling over my raft. And this is why I don't go out at night, guys. This is of my fears. I have no idea where he is, but thankfully we're pretty close to the island, so we should be able to make it just fine. Oh yeah, he's still swimming here. I don't, I don't see him. I'm just waiting to see that fin. Well, thank God we made it. Uh, our island should be right behind us. Yes, there's actually our island right there. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. But this game actually is playable at night now because at least the moonlight is shining enough for me to see. This is really nice. What? Uh, why did I get sick for eating a fruit? Food one sir. I'm really confused at how I got sick from this. I have no idea, but I'm going to eat another one. And we'll see if it happens again, because I obviously do need hydration. I don't think it was that bad, though. Like, I don't think at least I'm dying from sickness. There's actually more fruit here, so you know what? I'm gonna keep risking it, because why the hell not? Unfortunately, I need hydration, and this is the only way I really know how, aside from coconuts right now. 
Okay, it is 3.20 in the morning, and I got a full loot of stuff here. Uh, basically, I just collected whatever I could find, because I really don't know what I want to make yet. But I'm going to head back in the darkness. Not that I really want to. I also put a wood stick here. If you're curious why I do this, it's basically... Uh, makes it a lot easier to not get lost when you don't have a compass. If I ever land on this island for whatever reason, and I see a stick pointing to an island, good chances that's my island. And that makes it so if you want to go further, for example, if there's an island over here, I can jump to this island as well. And when I land back on this island, I know exactly where my home is because I put this stick down. So yeah, I thought I would explain why I do that. Uh, anyways, we're gonna head back now. Uh, I still got a lot I can loot over here. This is actually the island we were at when I was playing around with the bats. Uh, so yeah, we've already been there once, but I'm gonna try and mine out that island first, and then we'll keep moving on. Okay, home sweet home. I'm wondering what that, what is that light? Is that, oh, it's just, I think it's the UI. I thought I thought it was actually my fire, but no, it's just actually the UI. Now, can I actually drink this, maybe? Water collector bucket. No, you see, unfortunately, I need some sort of holder. Let's actually drop this off quick, because I got to figure out how to get water. Uh, or we're going to have a problem here, because we're at one bar, and I have no access to anything right now. So I got to go to another island really quickly. Hopefully, I can find some coconuts or something, because clearly, we're going to need some. Okay, so I did actually grab the bucket, and this should have some water in it. I wonder if I can drop it and actually drink it, because I really freaking need some water. Bucket of fresh water. Did, it, did I actually do it? No. Did I? I don't think this is actually doing anything, unfortunately. So, yes, I do actually need some sort of holder. For whatever reason, this guy doesn't want to drink out of a bucket, even if he's freaking dying of thirst. So, I'm going to throw this back on here, unfortunately, and i got to figure out how to grab that. You used to spawn in with an actual water bottle, and now you don't, so it's just really weird. So, let's actually go to a different island here if we can find any. There's not really too many close islands to this actual... Uh island that I'm on. Now, there's actually palm trees around, so maybe, just maybe, I can find an extra coconut. I don't, th I don't think I looked really too much for coconuts, so we might be okay. I need to find water, I know. Oh, there's actually coconuts here! Okay, we're saved. I didn't know if I collected them all or not, so let's go around collecting coconuts, and hopefully we can, uh, quench my thirst, if you will, but obviously, prime goal right now is fr finding a friggin' water bottle, because once I find a water bottle, I'm fine. I don't gotta deal with water, then. Alright, is there any coconuts up here? Yes, there is. Thank God. I think there's like two or three there. Oh, yes. What am I holding on to? Oh, a coconut. I'm holding on to coconuts while I go get a coconut. Alright, I think that's it on this one, so let's go down. Thank God for coconuts, though, man. Oh, we got three on this one. Shit, I have the mother of coconuts on my island. Actually, that's probably all I really need for right now. I can always just let the other one sit there. We also got more palm trees over there. This island is really nice. I might actually, you know, end up sticking here. Anyways, we are officially at zero bars, so I kind of got to work quick here if I don't want to damage myself. We got six coconuts. That should be more than enough to hydrate myself for a while here. That way we can actually do something else. I don't want to just look for coconuts this whole freaking episode. Okay, well, thankfully, we have a lot of food to eat as well. All these co coconuts I can actually break and get food off of as well. Let's see. Oh, thank God. We're almost perfect. Now all I gotta worry about is sleep. I can actually... I mean, we may as well do that right... Ah, no, I don't want to because the day just started. We'll, we'll sleep at the end of today because dealing with nighttime is kind of a bitch in this game. Okay, but this is survival. Let's waste no time. Let's find another island and go loot some more. I could always build something here because I do have quite a bit of resources over there, but I think we'll do that after today. The day just started, so I want to do as much as I can in terms of traveling because traveling at night isn't very fun. I'm not actually seeing, like, as you can see, there's no islands around me. I'm in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. And, and I never understood that saying, bumfuck nowhere. I, I've heard it a lot of times, but I've never really understood what it means, but I say it anyways. Okay, and we actually got a crab spawn on this island, so that's good to know if we do need crabs. Is that a shipwreck there? There is actually a shipwreck as well as an island over here, so we're going to go this way. Uh, check out this shipwreck. As much as I don't want to, we definitely do got to find a water bottle, and that's my only method of doing that. Okay, this one's a little bit of a deeper one, but we can actually see it. Now, you never really know if there's going to be sharks or not. They sometimes play the music, they sometimes don't. So really, all you can do, as much as I don't want to, is jump in. Maybe I should just swim from my island, so at least I can see around and run away. You know what? Fuck it. I just gotta deal with it. I don't like doing this, guys. Oh, God. The freaking... The ship alone scared me. 
<laughs> so, oh, 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 God, I, I forgot how much I'm scared of freaking ships. All right, we got a carburetor, uh, morphine, well, that's good to have at least, and duct tape. I was hoping for a water bottle, but I guess I can't complain. Ah! Oh, God, I don't have as much breath as I used to. Holy shit. Okay, at least you can climb into your raft now. God, that scared me. I thought something attacked me. Okay, let's just go back to our island here and drop this stuff off, uh, because why the hell not? I want to get as much inventory space as I can, that way we can loot as much as we can. Uh, good thing we found one more morphine, though. That's a good thing to have. Aside from that, uh, really don't really need duct tape. I mean, I think you can make bandages with duct tape. That's about it. What the hell is going on? Okay, jump in, and we're good to go. Oh, shit. Okay. There, now we're good to go. For whatever reason, I need to crouch now. Oh, and here's the shark. I, I hear him around. As you can see, like, you could never prepare for him. I know he's here somewhere, and that was the shipwreck we were just at. There you are. I can hardly see you, you creepy motherfucker. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I, got, I thought I was going to fall in there. Yes, Brucey. Yes, you are not going to eat me today, good friend, but I'm sure you will over time. Okay, we're on the next island. Now, we've already been to this island as well. I'm not necessarily looking for new islands right now. I'm just trying to get as much resources as I can. I believe I've already also looted this shipwreck, but let's just go out here and see. There's sometimes loot on these small things as well. Uh, doesn't look like there is this time. Oh, okay, maybe we're not going to go out. I just heard the creepy shark music. It's weird because I don't see him around, but I know that's when I fucking die. But you know what? Let's just kind of... Oh, yes, there he is. See, they're so fucking hidden. Like, seriously. Well, I guess we're just going to wait for that shipwreck until this Brucey goes away. I can always just, you know, gather as much as I can right now anyways. And uh, then we'll do that before we leave. Okay, there's really not that much on this island. Uh, we got a little bit of fruit, which is, which is nice. But I already collected a lot of this island because this is where we started. Uh, I'm also, I think we looted this boat, but just in case, I'm going to go over there. I do have my axe, so I feel slightly safe, and I'm not hearing shark music, which is nice. So, you know what? Let's just slowly go inside and look around. Everything looks okay. Uh, get some air, because clearly we have a lot less air now, and I'm not... Oh, yeah, there is a hard case in here with nothing in it. I can't see anything. I don't know if I've looted it yet or if it's just glitched out. Let's get the fuck out of here, though. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get anything that run. All right, I'm actually going to go back. Oh, I actually missed the console here, too. Jerry can. I guess we could take that. I think I... Yeah, we did loot this because I did... I do remember that Jerry can. Uh, there's nothing in here, though. That's so weird. Did I loot it and forget about it? Possibly. But uh, I just don't remember actually looting it. Anyways, let's keep going here. Unfortunately, we still haven't found our water bottle. But there's a bucket here. I guess we'll take another one. I already got two, but I guess we could have three. Okay, but I'm pretty sure this island's pretty much empty now. There's a few things on it, obviously, but uh, in terms of what I need, there's not much else here. So we're going to head back and then put a stick up so we know that this island has been mined out. Holy shit, these waves. I I'm actually getting kind of queasy from just uh, paddling around because some of these waves get pretty freaking big, as you can see. Okay, but we made it back safe and sound. Bruce has not eaten me yet. Uh, let's actually put a stick down before I forget. So we just know that this island has been mined out. Now, I'm not. that doesn't mean I'm never going to go back to this island. What I'm going to do, anyways, the plan of what to do is to go to every island that I can visually see around my uh, island. And then actually island hop from those islands once I mine each one of those out. So let's just make sure that looks good. There's actually not too many islands around this, and that's what I'm most bummed about, because I can't really explore too much right now. Regardless, there's still quite a bit of loot around my island as well, so I should probably gather here before I go anywhere else. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is just stuff I was throwing around. There's a lot of coagulated scrap here too, as you can see, so that's good uh, when we do actually want to make our own raft. Anyways, back once again. We got a big-ass loot pile over here. I, I do have to sort this out later on, but uh, I'm kind of just throwing it all together that way, you know. I le I, at least it's here. And we got some potatoes now. Wild potatoes. I do want to build a farm crop. I'll uh, probably do that now if I can, actually. Actually, how's my uh, water doing? We're not doing too bad at all, thank God. It seems like they slowed down the um, food and water deterioration, which is really good because you're not constantly looking for food, at least. Oh! 
You can drink water, I think, anyways. Did I just do that? Okay, I'm an idiot. You just have to hold the bucket now. So everything is going against what I know about Stranded Deep. Before, you had to put it on the ground to interact with it, so I'm just used to doing that. Now I actually know I have a bucket that I can drink, and you can see each bucket holds five sips of water, so that's really good. That is actually perfect, because survival should be quite easy now, assuming I don't get eaten by Bruce. Uh, so I feel officially comfortable now. So what I want to make now, well, first of all, I need to make a hoe. So we need wood sticks. We got lots of those, stone tool and lashing. So I just got to grab a stone tool. I don't actually know if I made any of those. I know there's lots of stones around here somewhere, though. I really do need to organize. All right, let's grab two of these rocks and make a stone tool real quick. There we go. Crap, it's already turning nighttime? God damn. Days go by so quick in this game, and it feels like nights last forever. Anyways, hoe, there we go. I have made myself a hoe. Get your mines out of the gutter, it's for farming. Uh, so now I actually don't even know. Am I supposed to just like, maybe it unlocks how to do a farm now? Oh wait, there's there's this thing, so we can do a plot. Wood farming plot, plank farming plot, and corregulated farming plot. Now I don't know if that changes anything. I think I'm just gonna try wood farming plot for right now. I just need four wood sticks. We got lots of those, so I can definitely use them. Uh, they're right over here. Wood stick, wood stick, wood stick, wood stick. Oh, God damn it. Why has it got to be night already? Okay, you know what? I'm going to sleep just so you guys can actually see. So let's sleep. And I don't know what time I'll wake up. Let's hope it's kind of sunny or at least, you know, close to morning time. It looks like it's fucking dark right now. Great. How long did I sleep for? It's 3 a.m. right now. Holy shit. Some of these clouds are freaking horrifying. Okay, well, I know what I can do at least. I can make a fire so at least we can see around me. Now, I am going to build my farming plot pretty close here, so I think we'll just do it. Uh, well, I, this is only temporary, so it doesn't really matter how it looks. I think I'll just do a farming plot right over here. Okay, so a wood farming plot. Wow, this thing is bigger than I expected, uh, I guess. I don't know if I need to, like, put this in the right soil or something. I have no idea how the farming works. You know what? We're just going to try it right here. Hold to interact. Okay. Can I actually... Okay, I'm assuming I need some sort of seed or something. Okay, so bad news. I actually uh, tabbed out of my game to look up how to do the farming or how to get seeds and whatnot. And my game decided to crash. And without, you know, an auto save state in this game, I lost literally everything we did today. The good news is, is I quickly scavenged around, found actually quite a bit of resources, as you can see, around here. So we are set up again with a new farming plot, and pretty much back to where we were, uh, aside from those islands not being looted. So we can go back to those and get more loot if we do need to. Another thing I found is a Kura fruit. This is actually uh, on our island. There was actually a tree over there with one on there, and it's another new fruit. So I think... Uh, I looked it up, and I think you can just interact with the farming plot, and there you go, plant a Kura tree, so I can get more Kura fruit. So that's pretty cool, I actually like how easy it is. Uh, do we have, actually have any water here? It looks like we do have a little bit of water, so let's actually uh, interact with this and collect this. I believe I do need to put this on here, I don't actually know. Is it actually watered right now? I think if it's white, it is watered, so it should be totally fine for right now, and hopefully we have a new Kura plant in the near future. So, we're gonna end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stranded Deep, doing a little bit of uh, gathering as well as setting up a cool little farming plot here. Next episode, we'll probably update our raft and uh, do a little bit of voyaging. I do want to find some shipwrecks or whatnot to get some of that rarer loot that we desperately need. But yeah, today was more about gathering than anything else, so I hope you guys didn't mind that. As always, thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.